All right, welcome back. This is section 1.9, part 2. We're going to evaluate uh, an expression given uh, some integers. And sometimes integers are positive, sometimes they're negative. So we're going to evaluate. If we recall, evaluate, I like to call it plugging and chugging. We just have to put in the values we're given. So I have the expression x plus y. And I'm told if x is 13 and y is negative 17, what am I going to find? Well, we're going to put these values in. And I'm always going to use parentheses when I substitute in values. So for my x value, I have 13. So I put that in that parenthesis. And my y value, I have negative 17. So now we have a problem. That is 13 plus negative 17. We can think of it two ways. I can say, hey, they have different signs. So when I combine them, I'm going to find their difference. Same sign combined, different signs find their difference. So I'm going to think, what's the difference between 17 and 13? Well, the difference is 4. And if we're dealing with larger values and we want to find the difference, maybe we can determine it. Uh, vertically like this, 7 minus 3 is 4, 1 minus 1 is 0, we get 4. So I know the value is 4, but is it a positive 4 or a negative 4? That's where we can do that assessment, which is the larger value. The larger value is 17. 17 is larger than 13. It's negative. The larger value will determine the sign. So we can say opposite signs find their difference. Different signs find the difference. And the difference of these two is 4. It's a negative 4, and that's what we found here. All right, let's go to this board over here, and we're going to look at an application problem. This application problem from right here in the UP, in Escanaba, Michigan, the temperature at noon was 12 degrees Fahrenheit. And if anyone's familiar with the Upper Peninsula, you know, that's a nice warm spring day, believe it or not. Uh, <clears throat> the temperature was 12 degrees Fahrenheit by 3 PM. The temperature had risen 5 degrees Fahrenheit. And then by 8 PM, it had fallen 19 degrees Fahrenheit. What was the temperature after 8 PM? If you recall the appli uh, how to ap approach application problems, the first thing we do is we read the problem. And that's what we did. We read it. We weren't looking for any information, just making sure we understand the terminology and the words being used. I understand temperature and time. And uh, so from there, I feel pretty confident about the terms being used. I see risen and fallen. Those are concepts that we understand. So the second time I read it, I say, OK, the temperature was 12 degrees Fahrenheit at noon. By 3 PM, the temperature had risen. And I'm going to underline that word, because that's given information. So we started at 12 degrees Fahrenheit. And we'll just put 12 here. And then we know it rose. Well, that's given information. It's telling me. It's increasing or adding by 5 degrees. Then it says, by 8 PM, it had fallen. I'm going to highlight that fallen. What's the temperature doing? Well, if, it, the, if the temperature's falling, my temperature's decreasing. We decrease. Well, that tells me we're going to decrease by 19. And then the last part is, what was the temperature after 8 PM? Well, I see by 8 PM, it's fallen 19 degrees. So what we have to do here is read it a third time. What am I supposed to find? I'm supposed to find the final temperature after 8 PM. So if we look at this, well, we have some integers. And we have to just do this operation. So I'm just going to work left to right, because that's what order of operations has shown us. I can say 12 plus 5. They are the same sign. So I'm going to combine them, 17. But then I have this integer of negative 19. Well, if we think about this, right? we can think of this as 17 plus a negative 19. Or we can think of it as it is, 17 minus 19. I assess that 17 is positive and 19 is negative. They have different signs. So I'm going to find their difference. Well, what's the difference between 17 and 19? It is 2. But is it a positive 2 or a negative 2? A question we should always ask ourselves when working with integers. And I say, well, the 19 is the larger value, so it's going to determine the sign. This is a negative 2. But because this is an application problem, we have to remember one important concept, units. We were dealing with temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. So I have to remember 
that this is the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. So we see an application of integers. And uh, like I said, if you're familiar with this area, m many times during the year, these are common temperatures that we have. It was negative 2 degrees Fahrenheit for this example. So this has been 1.9, part 2. I appreciate you watching. Thank you.